Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And friends, it has already begun in Idlib. The Syrian forces began earlier today with uh, helicopters bombing the areas around Idlib and the southwest regions of Idlib there, preparing for a massive ground assault that is supposed to surpass even that of the Aleppo fall. What I find interesting, though, is that the White Helmets are already to be beginning their own propaganda campaign uh, to look like those true Syrian civil defense heroes that they are not. Uh, in fact, if they were true Syrian civil defense and were rescuing truly the Syrian people and not staging all their propaganda, they would be held by the Syrian people as true heroes of Syria. And in fact, President Bashar al-Assad would have them uh, in images with him and the First Lady uh, Amsa as well. But we don't see that happening in Syria. But it's always interesting. They know just where to go. The cameras are always rolling and they always pull out that great, wonderful survivor. And they always make sure everybody is very well dressed and ready for the cameras. Take a look at this right here. I'm gonna share with you an image here just come out on Twitter a couple of hours ago. Uh, and I want you to be able to see this image as well. Here we go. They know right where this little boy has been planted. And, of course, they're going to bring him out. He's going to be alive. They're going to celebrate. Make sure you see those nice staged images of the white helmets there. Put the light on their back. You know, there's more camera lights on the white helmets than there is on the little boy that they supposedly rescue. I feel for the little kid myself, personally, because, you know, it's really kind of terrible to be used as a propaganda piece there. Let me bring this a little closer for you guys because I want you to make sure you guys can see this as well. Let's play this one more time. Boy, it's like modern television with all these camera lights going. You know, I'll tell you something. In reality, if these guys were really doing this, I would be right there with them. I would be right there to support what they're doing and would stand with these guys. I really would. Uh, but the evidence has been overwhelming of the fabrication of the evidence. Uh, it's just been unreal. Uh, but there is already reports coming out. Um, this kind of give you a little bit better picture here of what's going on, where the battle is being fought at. Um, and uh, so, so you can see some of the images there, the mortars and stuff like that that are being used. Uh, they're showing some of this action here going off. And of course, we can go back to the live view map just to see what's going on here. And of course, this whole area, right? And this is all the Idlib area. This is the part that's got to be liberated. Now, they're being heavily supplied right here from Turkey and behind there. All the weapons are able to run freely in that area because Turkey is right there in behind, and that's who's going to supply the enormous amount of weapons to this uh, jihadists that are there. And the number of different fighting factions that are in this region is unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable, the numbers that are there. So it's truly going to be the mother of all battles. Will the Syrian government succeed? Will something happen that will cause the international community to react? Now, I am, I am thinking personally, as I'm already seeing the Syrian civil defense there in massive numbers, already beginning the propaganda, I have a feeling they're going to stage a chemical weapons attack on a massive scale on the poor civilians of Syrians that are there. And believe me, they're not going to do it on their friends. They're not going to do it on their families. They're going to do it on the civilians that are loyal to Bashar al-Assad. Uh, and I'm sure they have a number of those that are living in that area there. So President Assad has gone there to rescue his people and to liberate his country. But something is gonna go, is gonna go down very bad. I don't doubt that for a single moment. And I'm just waiting to see what that will be.
Anyway, I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. Be talking again to you tomorrow evening, watching always throughout the day tomorrow. If we see something breaking, we'll definitely cover that. Uh, I know Israel has also been facing with more of the rockets coming in. Israel also has been uh, pounding areas inside of Gaza. In fact, the latest one we saw was the one of the only water plants there in uh, Gaza. Israel bombed it and totally destroyed it. I couldn't help but think, what about these children? You know, they're not Nephilim. This is not the case of when Joshua was commanded to go in and liberate this land. Uh, we're not dealing with the same people that were there 3,500 years or 3,000 years ago. We're dealing with human beings uh, that have souls. Yes, I don't agree with uh, religious views of some, but you got to remember there's a lot of Christians in this area as well. A lot of Christian believers that are in Gaza. And we as the believers ourselves, we need to be a voice as well and encourage the Israeli government to take into account these children that are there. Uh, I don't agree with Hamas. I don't agree with their, their radicalism and what they're doing. Uh, to me, they have got the people of Gaza held hostage as well. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.